Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Before we get into today's video, I'm going to ask you to please like and subscribe. We are at 99 subscribers. If you have not already subscribed, please do. It's just a little thing that uh, helps out the channel. But if you are subscribed, thank you guys so much for getting us to 99 subscribers. 100 subscribers is just one a subscriber away. So um, if that if you guys could just please subscribe so we can hit 100, that'd be a great milestone for uh, this this channel. And it will be a, an awesome thing to accomplish within under three months of, uh, or under two months of the, with this channel. So getting into today's video, uh, we have a 2024 a hypothetical election prediction between the governor of South Dakota, Kristi Noem, a Republican governor, and she is a uh, she's a candidate that uh, people don't really talk about. She's a she's an individual that uh, that the GOP does not talk about very much. She is a very big potential 2024 uh, uh, candidate for president in the Republican primary, Republican Party. She isn't talked about very much, and she won her re-election with over 30 points in the state of South Dakota. Um, now, her and Ron DeSantis are very big possibilities uh, for presidential uh, or candidates for president of the United States. If she runs, she would be a rival against the popular uh, the popular former president of the United States, Donald Trump, who has publicly announced that he will be running to seek a second non-consecutive term. Now, if she does win the Republican nomination, and if she does run, this would be um, a very uh, this would be a very interesting uh, scenario between the President of the United States, Joe Biden, if the Democratic Party puts him up for re-election and if he uh, he does want to run for re-election. You know, he will be 82 by the time uh, of November of, 20, uh, of 2024, or 81 turning to 80, 82. Um, so with that being said... It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a big burden on the Democratic Party putting up a candidate that old, the oldest president in American history, um, and the cognitive ability. I don't think that he'll have come twenty twenty four. But that's that's enough said on that. Let's get into the video and let's start the prediction. So with Christy Nome's safe states, we have the states of Alaska, Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska at large, first and third district. South Dakota, North Dakota, Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, also Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, South Carolina, Tennessee, Kentucky, West Virginia, and Indiana. Now my margins for safe states are 11 points or higher, and all these states uh, would be 11 points or higher, especially the states of North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, Kansas, Wyoming, Montana, all these states that are near and around South Dakota, I think that she'd get a lot of uh, a lot of more popularity being the governor of South Dakota, and I, I could see her winning her state by maybe 40 points or more if she were to uh, run against Joe Biden in 2024. And she'll probably do very well in the state of Iowa. I think that this is a state that will go uh, for Christian Newman as a safe state as well. So that uh, will sum up all the uh, safe states for Christy Nome. Now moving on, we can have Joe Biden's safe states. These are the states of uh, Washington, Oregon, California, Hawaii, the District of Columbia, Maryland, Delaware, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, and Vermont. Also, we have uh, Maine 1st District, Illinois, and New York. Now, moving on to Christy Noem's likely states. These are the states of Texas. Greg Abbott won his re-election in, in 2022 by around 9.5 points against, uh, against Beto O'Rourke. So, that's pretty good for the state of Texas. Also, in the state of Florida, I think that she could uh, very well get the state with around maybe 4.5 uh, points against Joe Biden. I think that Florida is just a dead, uh, a dead hold for Republicans, you know. In 2020, in 2022, I should say, uh, Ron DeSantis won his re-election with around 25 points. Um, and also, uh, the same goes for Marco Rubio in the Senate. He won around, um, it's a little bit less, I think it's like 22 points. But uh, same thing, a very well uh, respectable safe margin in the states. Also for the state of Ohio, this is a state that uh, Christy Nome will, uh, get, will be guaranteed for her Um and yeah, so this is a, this is a state that is a solid red state now. Ever since Trump in 2016, it stayed like that in 2018. It stayed like that in 2020. It stayed like that in 2022, and it's going to stay like that in 2024. 
it's going to be again a very very uh, conservative red ruby red state um so moving on we're going to go to uh joe biden's uh likely states these are the states of colorado uh also new mexico following that we have the state of virginia i think that he can get this around 10 points just like 2020 uh, it might be more like nine point eight, nine and a half points, but yet again, it will be uh, it'll be a very very safe margin. Also, in the state of New Jersey, I think that uh, he'll get it around uh, maybe a ten, ten and a half margin. Very close to safe, but just shy of that margin. Also, we have uh, Maine at large, and uh, New Hampshire here, and also Minnesota. Uh, Minnesota is going to be around a 10, 10 and a half point margin. Same thing with New Jersey. Um, so with that being said, we can move on to Christy Nome's uh, lean states. This includes the state of uh, North Carolina. And this is a state that went to uh, Ted Budd in the Senate in 2022 with around three, three and a half point margins around what I had my margin as in my Senate prediction. That's one of the uh, only states that I got, got right in my predictions for the Senate. But uh, yet again, this is a very reliable. This is pretty pr primarily a very reliable uh, Republican state, a state that the GOP can uh, can carry uh, very comfortably uh, against Democrats. So I think that she that uh, she'll do very well in the state of uh, North Carolina. I think she'll get around a two two and a half point margin in the state. Moving on to Arizona, this is a state that I think that uh, Christy Nome will pick up or will hold, I should say, will get in the state of Arizona with around one and a half points against Joe Biden. Um, yeah, I know that a lot of people might think that Joe Biden couldn't get it, but I think that twenty, uh, I think that 2024 would be a different story for Democrats in the state of Arizona. Um, so moving on, we can go to the state of uh, Wisconsin. This is a state that I think that Christy Nome can pick up. Uh, Pull, pick up, pull off in the state. I think that he'll that she'll be able to uh, to win it around a one one and a half point margin, maybe maybe a little bit more, one point six, one point seven point margin. But yet again, she'll win in the state. Also, main second district will go to her with a, a lean margin of around two to two and a half points. Um, but yet again, I think that she'll get it in in main second congressional district. Um, so with that being said, that lead that we move, we can move on to uh, Joe Biden's uh, lean states. This is uh, the state of uh, Michigan, the state that uh, Democrats did phenomenal in the twenty twenty two midterm elections. Gretchen Whitmer won a reelection with around ten points against the Trump endorsed Tudor Dixon. Now, if Christine Noem does win in twenty twenty uh, the twenty in uh, she does win the primary, uh, the Republican primary, I think that Trump, Donald Trump will endorse her. And I think that because of that, I think that she'll lose the state of Michigan. Uh, and if she doesn't, he he she uh, Joe Biden might be able to get it by a very very close margin. But I think the Trump endorsement will uh, keep away some voters in the state of Michigan, some independent voters and some uh, liberal lib or more liberal uh, Republican voters. So we now we can uh, move on. That is the only state. Uh, that is uh, tilt, but we do have a district. This is Maine's second congressional district that will go for Joe Biden with a round, uh, probably two two points, maybe a little bit more. Um, but yet again, it'll be a lean margin for Joe Biden. Now moving on to Christy Noem's tilt states. This is the state of Nevada. I think that uh, with with uh, Joe Lombardo winning the governorships, I think this is a state that will uh, primarily go to the GOP from now on. Now. Donald, uh, Joe Biden barely won it in twenty uh, in twenty twenty by two two points. It's a respectable margin that Democrats could comfortably carry the state. But yet in the twenty twenty two midterm elections, Joe Lombardo won against Steve Sisolak with around two points. So I think that uh, even Donald Trump could get this state by around zero point five one point margin, maybe a little bit less. Christy Noem again zero point one maybe zero point five in that in that margin. The only candidate that I think that. Uh, could would, that would probably most likely lose the state is Ron DeSantis because he doesn't have the appeal around the uh, the western areas of the country. He's he's very really good in the Sun Belt, but yet again, I don't think that he'll do very well in the Rust Belt or on the west coast of the United States. Now moving on to the uh, to the state of Pennsylvania, I think that Christy Noem can just barely get this state uh, by a tilt margin, um, and I think that she'll do. Uh, do very well in the state. Now, for the last the last state, the state of Georgia, I think that Christy Nome 
will barely, just barely pick up the state of Georgia. Maybe. This is a very, very, uh, very, very close possibility. I think that Joe Biden also could pick up the state by a tilt margin as well. You see 281 for Christine. Either way, if she loses it, she can still win. But right now, I think that she'll do a lot better with uh, women voters, more uh, independent voters than Joe Biden does. And, you know, I, like Herschel Walker, um, he he's he's a uh, he's a male he's he's African American but he's also Trump endorsed and you know I don't know if he'll run, win the runoff he probably won't he'll probably lose it by a two point margin but Raphael Warnock is also an African American and he's a Democrat so with that being said independents don't really know which to go do we go to a to a football player a African American football player with a Republican side or to go to an African American uh, Democrat politician. You know, they don't really have a very big uh, alternative, if that makes sense. So on the presidential level, I think that Christy Noem could actually uh, appeal to a lot of independent voters, being a, a woman, being a, uh, a kind of a more moderate Republican, but still being on the same page with a lot of uh, hardcore Trump candidates. So with that being said, I don't think that Joe Biden will be able to carry the state uh, he, he might just be, maybe he might be able to. This is a the, this state is a very big toss up. Also, with the state of Pennsylvania and uh, also Nevada. I maybe the, Joe Biden could easily win all three of these states, but Christine Noem also could win all three of these states easily. Um, so with that being said, I think that we can uh, tally up the final here with uh, Christine Noem at two ninety seven to Joe Biden's 241. If you guys like the video, uh, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more content. Also, thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys uh, will enjoy more content. Uh, I think that these are interesting scenarios to put up. Just hypothetical, but also a fun analysis to put out for you guys. So if you guys liked it, again, hit the like button and subscribe. Comment down below if you have any questions or uh, any suggestions on future videos. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Thank you, God bless, and God bless America.